Is it really a midnight snack if you get up at 12.30 and then eat breakfast? Thoughts of the day. Um, one of the saddest things in the morning is when you drink the last of your milk. Because you're like, oh, my milk is gone. Like, this cup is delicious, but tomorrow I won't have any unless I go buy things. And I hate buying things. Not because I'm spending money, but because I actually have to interact with people. So there's that. I also hate when you fall asleep wearing a certain thing and you get up wearing something completely different. Like, I went to bed wearing, it was cold in my house, and I had the fan going, so I went to bed wearing, like, sweat shorts, they're sweatpants, but they go to my knees, so sweat shorts, a tank top, and a sports bra, well, you know, the sports bra was under the tank top, and my hair was in a bun, and I woke up wearing just my sports, bra, or sorry, just my tank top, and my hair was braided. So, and I didn't get up last night. At least not that I remember. I, I didn't dream anything really crazy. But I got up wearing a tank top with my hair braided. And I don't even know. I, I, I'm at a loss for words on how that one happened. Like, I've gone to bed not wearing socks and woke up with socks on. Hi. Good morning. We're both a little groggy. Hi, Yoki. Yes. Oh, now you're really purring. Anyways. So it's been a eventful 45 minutes that I've been up. Think about calling it quits and trying again tomorrow. Um, I went to bed at 6.30 yesterday because I was so flippin' tired because I hadn't slept the night before. And I'm slightly regretting my decision, but at the same time I'm not because I got to sleep and that's a rarity these last days. Um, I watched Mirror Mirror, the movie I got in my family pack, and I hadn't seen it before. And for those of you who haven't watched it, it's a live-action version of Snow White. But it's not Snow White and the Huntsman. Like, there's a lot of interpretations on stories and stuff like that. Anyways, well, the Mirror Mirror is kind of sort of told through the perspective of um, the Wicked Stepmother. Which is a, yeah, she's a queen, sorry. So, that happened, and, um, she's super sassy. And bitchy. But, you know, it was actually, it was a really good movie. Well, I don't know but really good. It was a, it was a really cute movie. Um, and, yeah, for the amount of time the king was on, like, in the actual movie, I'm really surprised they used the actor they did, whose name is escaping me right now, probably because it's 12-something, maybe 1 o'clock at this point in the morning, so I'm going to blame it on that. I look like I'm hungover because I got yesterday's makeup below my eyes. My eyes fell. Oh, well. Are you eating my braid? That's not food. Um, so there's that. I was going to clean today because I know you guys only see this part of my couch. But the rest of my house is really dirty. So the game plan. Yeah, Loki is now eating my braid. Um, the game plan is to clean all this stuff. Whether or not that will happen, I don't know. I can't predict the future, but um, this weekend I am going to have a redneck swimming pool, which for those of you who are like, oh my god, what's a redneck swimming pool? Let me enlighten you. 
redneck swimming pool only works if you have a truck and if you have a long bed truck it's better I have a long bed truck so um, and for those of you who don't know the difference between a long bed truck and a short bed truck I'll enlighten you there too a short bed truck has the regular cab of the vehicle which is where you like sit and stuff and drive and then you have the bed which is the outside part of the truck a short bed truck has the cab and then you have six feet from the edge of the cab to the edge of the bed which is where you put stuff so it's six feet okay a long bed truck you have the cab part and you have the edge of the cab and then you have eight feet which is glorious Size does matter when we're talking about trucks, just for the record. I'm not, what are they called? Um, what are they called? There are women who go after men who drive lifted trucks. Lift kit whores, that's what they're called. I'm not that because if your truck is like super lifted, I think you're a tool and if your truck is lowered I still think you're a tool and you're clearly spending daddy's money to do either so I'm judging you openly but if like uh, if you like drive a Jeep and you've got the lift on that because you're like off-roading every other flipping day and you've got a four inch lift kit I understand I think it looks a little dumb but I understand my truck is stock yeah it's stock um, my dad's truck has a two inch lift on the back, but that's for his tow package. So that makes sense. Cause you know, you got the lift for something. Anyways, redneck swimming pool. So what you do is you take the bed of your truck and you line it in tarps, the blue tarps you see on construction sites all the time. Mine takes two tarps. So I put a duct tape seam in it because duct tape is waterproof and you make sure the tarp's not going to fall in. So if you can, you, you bungee cord it to the outside so it doesn't fall in. And you take a hose, you put a hose in it, and fill it up with water. This does two things. First thing, you get a swimming pool that is portable, which is awesome. And if you can't swim, like I know how to physically swim, I just can't because if I go underwater, air bubbles come out my ear and it's uncomfortable. But that's a story for another video. So you get to swim, and by swim, I mean you do what I do, and you just sit in the water and splash people. But you can also be in this pool whilst intoxicated because the chance of you drowning is that big. And honestly, if you drown in a redneck swimming pool, you kind of had it coming. And I mean, number one swimming rule is never swim alone. So of course I'm going to have friends over, or my cat. One of the two, but I won't be alone. So, plan on doing that sometime this weekend. I don't know when, but it'll happen. Um, yeah. So, now I think I'm going to put in a really upbeat Disney movie with lots of good music so I can wake up my neighbors with my lovely singing voice. Because, well, if I have to listen to their live mariachi band this weekend again... They deserve it. Um, yeah. So today is actually Thursday, which nobody gave me a thing to call my Thursdays. Besides thirsty, and I just drank the last of my milk, so I'm not thirsty. So, if you have a, oh my god, that would be so good for calling Thursdays. Comment at homes, and if not, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!